हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.2 चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इररिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडीएस टॉप एंड मिकांकी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज अ रिजिड वेसल ऑफ वॉल्यूम 1 क्यूबिक मीटर कंटेंस steam at 20 bar and 400 degrees centigrade the vessel is cooled until the steam is just dry saturated calculate the mass of the steam in the vessel the final pressure of the steam and the heat rejected during the process first of all we will write the given information in this statement volume of the rigid vessel is v and it is 1 cubic meter pressure p1 is 20 bar and temperature t1 is 400 degree centigrade the vessel is cooled until the steam is just dry saturated suppose we have the state of steam over here this is the superheated region and the given condition 20 bar and 400 degree centigrade for the steam is in the superheated region so this is state one of the steam it cools and comes to for example this point from state one to state two here the pressure is 20 bar and the temperature is 400 degree centigrade and at state 2 we don't know about the pressure we will find it that is p2 also we will find the mass and the heat ejected from 1 to 2 that is required during the process this is state 1 and this is state 2 when we join these two points it becomes thermodynamic process so we are required to find the heat rejected from 1 to 2 as well so three quantities are required in this problem to find one the mass of the steam in the vessel two final pressure that is p2 at this state and the heat rejected 3 q is required so starting the solution of the problem we have these tables extracted from the steam tables this is the partial listing of properties for superheated steam and this is for saturated steam so here we have pressure 20 bar and at 400 degree centigrade the temperature is in degree centigrade if we check the specific volume that is 0.1512 so from superheated steam tables at 20 bar and 400 degree centigrade we have specific volume and that is 0.1512 cubic meter per kilogram so now it's 
very easy to find the mass which is contained in the vessel. So we know that specific volume is not, uh, defined like volume per unit mass. So we are going to find M, rearranging this expression it will become capital V by small v. Capital V is given which is 1 cubic meter and small v is the specific volume and it is extracted from the superheated tables it is 0 0.1512 cubic meter per kilogram so simplifying this the value of m comes out 6.62 kilogram so this is the solution of part 1 Second, we have to find the pressure. For that, is it is mentioned over here that we have rigid vessel, so that's why this specific volume at this state will be equal to the specific volume at this state, meaning that. V1 is equal to V2 and it is equal to Vg and the value of it is 0.1512 cubic meter per kilogram. So now for this if we visit the saturated steam tables and check the pressure at state 2. So we have 0.157 value and 0.127 value. <coughs> this value is not mentioned over here. So in between these two values we will interpolate and will find the value of pressure. So the method of interpolation was discussed in problem 2.2 in previous problems. So I am directly writing the value of pressure after interpolation at Vg is equal to 0 0.1512 and it comes out P2 is equal to 13. Point 0, 1 bar and if you look to these values 12.54 and 15.54 bar so this value lies in between these values so this is the second part of the problem third we are required to find the value of heat rejected during this process so for that we have the expression that is q is equal to m u2 minus u1 in this expression m is known u2 is the specific internal energy in the superheated state and its value is 2945 so we will write that value over here that is u2 is equal to 2945 kilojoule per kilogram also the value of u1 is the specific internal energy at state 2 so here again at 13.01 bar if we check the value of specific internal energy so exactly it doesn't lie over here it is 12.54 and 
13.01 doesn't exist. So again, we will do the method of interpolation in between these values. So we will find the specific internal energy at state 2. It is actually U1 because this is state 1 in the superheat state so U2 will be when we after interpolation that is 2590.03 kilojoule per kilogram and this value lies in between these values and again I am repeating this that this value has been calculated by the method of linear interpolation and it is discussed in problem 2.2 and chapter number 2 problem solution the working fluid so in this expression now all values are known so putting the values Q is equal to M, M is 6.62 kilogram, U2 is 2590.03 minus 2945.03. So simplifying this we get the value of Q and it is equal to 23 minus 23 double 5 kilojoule or we can say that heat rejected is Twenty three hundred and fifty five kilojoule. This minus sign indicates that that is it is the heat rejected. So if we mention the rejection word over here, then we don't write the minus sign over here. So this is the third part solution in which we are required to find the value of heat rejection during the process and it is all about the solution of problem 3.2 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos